Good morning, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for giving us a beautiful day. And I believe that you will make the best out of this day. My name is Reverend Brown Chavaseki, and I believe the Lord has given me a message for you this morning as you start your day. Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19, um, I am going to share about a keys for a new beginning. I believe that we have just started this great year 2021 and the Lord, the Lord's desire is that you will have a new beginning. We hope for the best in this year 2021. The Bible says, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beginning of a new year brings a lot of excitement into our lives. When you begin a new day, you are excited because you are hoping for the best. The birth of a new child in a home brings a lot of excitement. And I believe that as we have started the year 2021, all of us, we are excited. I know that for the last few months, the entire world has been going through challenging times, times that have been very hard for most people. But my prayer is that you will be positive in your life and look into the future with excitement and hope. And especially when you start your day like today. I believe that the end of this year is going to be exciting. We are going to have things we can look back and celebrate. This word came from Isaiah to encourage the people. Do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. God is doing a new thing. We serve a God of possibilities. We serve a God who is able to help us and bring us to a place of a new beginning. Something new, it is something that has never existed before. It is something that has recently been made. It is something that has been recently been invented or introduced or something you have bought recently. Something that has never been used before. Something that has never been owned by no one. I believe, my dear viewer, that your future is better than the past. Isaiah brings this word very powerfully, that your previous years, they are going to be different from the year you have just started 2021. God is about to do a new thing. You have gone through a lot of difficulties. I know 2020 was a difficult year. And all of us, 
we can attest to that. But I believe in these difficulties we have faced and challenging times, God has been at work in our lives. Our challenges have been building up to something. I believe that will bring praise and glory to God. There is a Cameroonian proverb that says, the smoke that comes from a mother's kitchen is not meant to hurt the eyes of the child, but to prepare food. The child may cough, the child may cry, the child may scratch their eyes, but by the end of the day, food will be on the table. I believe the challenges we have gone through and what you are going through even now is preparing you for great victory, is preparing you for great things. By the end of the day, you are going to have a testimony because the Lord is doing a new thing. And what the Lord is doing, you may not know it. Human beings, we are limited in many ways. We don't see what God sees. Because we are human and we are weak. But these words comes very powerfully this morning to encourage you. Some of the things God will do in your life, you have no idea about them. But as you continue to trust in him, as you continue to look unto him, you will realize that all that you have been going through, God has, has been at work. Do not remember the former things. I am doing a new thing. What we have gone through, I believe God has been using this process to complete us to break us and to make us. It is said that, you know, the, the, the strongest faith, it is made in the most difficult times. When we go through difficult times and when we look unto God, our challenges gives us an opportunity to produce the strongest faith. And my prayer is that as you begin this morning, you will look back and look into the future, knowing that the best is yet to come. And your challenges can make you to be a giant of faith. The Bible says, Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Wilderness is a difficult place. There is no road in the wilderness. It's a place that has stones and shrubs. There is no way you can find your way in the wilderness. But the Lord is saying in the wilderness is going to make a road. He is going to clear the wilderness for you to pass there. And is making a road that no one has used it before. A new place, a new road. The path you are about to walk on, they are path you've never walked before. But what encourages me and you this morning is that God knows our future. God knows where we will be tomorrow. Where you are not seeing a way, God is going to clear the path for you. A place that you've never walked is going to connect you to people whom you've never been connected before. Is going to open doors that have never opened before. Is going to take you to places 
that you've never been before. That is a promise from the Lord. Even when you are going through the unseen dangers and perils, the Lord will hold your hand in new places and walk with you. He is going to make a way where there seems to be no way. He is going to work in ways that you cannot see. Maybe you are saying, you know, I am used to the life I'm living now. I am used to troubles. I'm used to challenges. I'm used to problems. I am used to the situation I am in right now. This is the word of the Lord. God is able to break the monotony and to bring you into a new place that you can experience a new life and especially in this year 2021. My viewer this morning as you start this day start it with hope. You may not see everything on your way but God Almighty the creator of the heavens and the earth who has given you this fresh day, he is able to hold your hand and is able to walk with you. Now, one of the keys you need for a new beginning, number one, you need to have a new birth. You cannot experience a new beginning without a new birth. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse number 17, Anyone who is in Christ Jesus is a new creation. Behold, the old is gone and the new has come. That is where it begins. Having a relationship with Jesus. That brings newness into our lives. You know, when we are beginning a new year like 2021, People get excited and they go into churches and they sing Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. There is joy and excitement all over the place and a lot of celebration. But we cannot experience true newness without a new birth. My prayer is that this morning you will look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. And if you have not received him as Lord and Savior, you will open your heart to receive him today as you begin this new day. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. As you begin this day, I pray you will experience the new birth. Let us pray. Our dear loving Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we honor you and we bless you today. Thank you for my viewer even as, they, as he begins this day, Lord, we pray that there will be newness in their lives. They will know that you are concerned about them and you have a good plan for them to give them a hope and a future. May they begin this day with new power, with new strength, and may you fight their battles and give them victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy your day.